In this video, I'll show you how to solve the problem called using mass density to find mass or volume. To solve this problem, we're going to be using the density equation. Density is calculated by taking the mass of an object and dividing it by its volume. In this equation, the mass of the object is always given to us in grams, and the volume of the object is always in units of milliliters or in units of cubic centimeters, which a cubic centimeter is equal to a milliliter. So for this problem, you are going to be given the density of an object, and then you'll also be given either the mass or the volume and asked to calculate the other variable. So you may want to begin by rewriting your density equation to kind of help you isolate the variable that you're trying to solve for. One way that we can write the density equation is density times volume equals mass, and this would be useful if we knew the volume and we were trying to calculate the mass. Another way that we could rewrite the density equation, I'm just going to take that last one that I came up with, density times volume equals mass, volume equals mass divided by density, so I'm just doing some algebra there. This would be a form of the equation that we would want to use if we knew the mass and we were trying to calculate the volume. For this problem, we have been given the density right here, 0.889 grams per cubic centimeter, and we've also been given the volume, 80 milliliters, and we're being asked to calculate the mass. So that means I want to use this form of the equation, which has mass isolated. The mass is going to be the density times the volume. The density is 0.889 grams per cubic centimeter. Um, and then we're going to multiply that by our volume, which is 80 milliliters. It is a little bit confusing the way Alex is kind of going back and forth with the units here. Remember that one milliliter is the same thing as a cubic centimeter. So maybe what I'm just going to do is erase that cubic centimeter and use the unit milliliter instead. That way we can really easily see how the units cancel out. So we're going to do the math on here. 0.889 times 80 is... 71.12 grams, and we're supposed to report this to three significant figures, which is going to be 71.1 grams.